Hey guys, so we're in my bathroom today. Um, it's been a while since I've filmed in here. Um, again though. Hey guys, so we're in my bathroom today. It's been a little while since I've filmed in here. Um, I didn't actually manage to get any filming done this past week. Um, little man just amped up the cleanliness this week. And um, yeah. We've got them set up with their cars right now. They got um, he got this Hot Wheels track for his birthday where it's got like a a loop de loop, and they can race them. So that's what he's doing. He's actually probably going to come through any minute now. <laughs> as soon as he notices I'm not in the room. Roro, I'm in the bathroom. Oh. So I'm just getting ready for the day. Um, thank you for everyone who watched my little live that I did last weekend. It was, it was really fun to do, um, a little nerve wracking. I wasn't really sure what I was doing. Um, but yeah, <laughs> I might do more in future. We'll see, we'll see. Um, I even went and got um, a little, it's like a suction cup holder for phones that are supposed to go on your dashboard and I thought it would be perfect for like in here um also like doing lives on facebook or maybe instagram or something we'll see as with everything we'll see i'm just going in right now with some um sunblock i'm currently using the new um ultra matte anti-aging one i actually really like this it's very similar to the um the La Roche Posay. God, I can't even talk today. I've got. I, feel, I don't know. My. <clears throat> my words seem to be all jumbled today. Um, but it's kind of like the it gives the same effect as like the La Roche Posay and Thelios one. Um, only it's not as super liquidy and um. I sometimes find the Enthelios one can, if I put too much on, it can have an adverse effect, whereas this is just like a, a lotion. I'm um, going in with my face primer, the Becca Backlight Primer Filter. I'm really happy that you guys are um, excited for like the Project Pan updates and things. Um, as I said in my live, I am going to be doing Saturday, it's going to be Project Pan Day, so that my channel's just not clogged full of Project Pans all the time although later on in the year I might filter a few littler ones in throughout the week at the moment I've got four year-long pans going um I'm taking part in the um two pantas no three fantastic lady collabs actually at the moment um I'm in with the panning solitaire which is super fun it's where you pan a single a duo a trio a quad, a quint, it's super fun. Um, I started back on that again after I, I posted my sort of I'm back video. Rowan's coming to get me! Rowan's coming to get you! You better hide! You can say hello. This little guy wants to say hi. You gonna say hi? Hi! You gonna say bye? Bye! You gonna go play? Yeah? You go watch your, watch Mr. Tumble and play with your cars. Yeah, on then. Go on. Okay. Shh. Mama. Okay. Okay, so apparently he's not going to go play or watch Mr. Tumble. He's going to stay with me. Um, so as I was saying, taking part in a couple of year-long project pans, panning solitaire, um, I believe it's called The Panning of Oz and it's a project pan based on The Wizard of Oz which is really cool because I love The Wizard of Oz and Judy Garland. Um, I'm going in with the MAC Studio Sculpt Foundation which I've been using the last week or so and I actually really really like it. Um, it, it reminds me a lot of um, a slightly a slightly drier consistency like less creamy less glowy version of the um, what do you call it? 
the NYX HD foundation that I was enjoying. I haven't finished the NYX one, I've just put it away for just now. Um, what was I saying? Yeah, so it's a, a project pan where you pick items based on like, um, what am I saying? Wizard of Oz themed prompts, and I believe it's called The Panning of Oz. Um, I, I do need to get the intro up for that, and I believe the A to Z project pan. I don't think I've put the intro up for that either. I, if, I, if I haven't already put up the A to Z one yet, I'm going to refilm it because I watched back the footage that I did back in January, and oh my goodness, it is shocking. It is shocking. I was, what was I thinking trying to film when I was that ill? Um, so I'm going to refilm those intros and get those up and I'm also going to do a 20 in 2020 project as well so each Saturday assuming that there's four Saturdays in a month there will be the Panning Solitaire the Panning of Oz the A to Z Beauty and the 20 in 20 and that's what I'm using here I'm using all makeup from my project pans because I know that's always something you guys want to see is me doing a get ready with me with my project pan makeup I'll show you how I'm working my way through it um, I'm also doing a small-ish um, project pan I really wanted to do another back to Mac project pan this year which is where the studio scott comes in what darling what darling hold on hold on what are you saying so i'm going in with the smashbox studio skin concealer which i don't i'm, I'm really scraping the sides with this now to get anything out of it so I might have to take the stopper off of this soon. But yeah, so I'm I'm also doing a small back to Mac project pan, just with six items, which is the number you need for back to Macking. Um, just so I can kind of work my way through, because a lot of my Mac items are really old now. You want your jumper off, darling? Well, come here, Mum. You'll get it off for. Calm down. Yeah. One, two, three. There you go. You're getting too warm, darling. There you go. Seriously, my kid would walk around naked if you'd let him. He does not like clothes. <laughs> Um, so yeah, um, I'll have that introduction coming really soon as well. It'll be spread out over the coming weeks rather than a, like a bulk upload. Um, but I should have them all up before the end of February that way. Into March you'll get your the updates. Because I like updating. I do. Updates are fun. And I've actually been doing really well with wearing makeup so far this year. I mean... We'll disregard January entirely. This year started in February for me. <laughs> um, I've actually been doing really well with wearing makeup. I've actually been able to wear makeup almost every day, which I suppose isn't really like an achievement, but at the same time, it's like, for me to have a productive day, I need to like get ready for the day and for some like brain triggeredness, Getting ready for the day involves putting on a face. Even if it's just putting on some concealer and powder or something or doing my brows, I need to do something to have a productive day. I'm going in with the number seven powder. Just push that into my nose. Now you guys know how I feel about baking. I'm not the biggest fan of it, but I do find doing this sort of light baking method it does hold my makeup on really really well especially around like where my glasses go and also where I touch my face the most so I just put on like a thicker layer 
a powder around my mouth and my jaw. Oh, we've gone out of focus for a little bit there. I'm sure we'll come back and focus soon. Sorry, guys. And then I just kind of leave that to sit until I finish my eye makeup and then it just kind of gets brushed off during the course of me doing my face colour. It looks like I'm putting on a lot but I'm honestly just getting like the tiniest amount on my sponge at a time. God that is actually the freakiest noise like I hate that noise. <laughs> it reminds me of this doll I used to have. It was a really creepy doll. Half of its hair was missing and it had eyelashes with half its eyelashes missing and it had those eyes that would close when you laid it back and the marble inside the eye made that noise freaked me out so much i hate the noise between that and hearing liquid sloshing about in your tummy i can't i can't deal with it but someone has entered the kitchen with a chair i will be right back apparently it was time for breakfast 2.0 i had to make some wheat bix and put out cornflakes so yes <laughs> okay next is on to my brows and I'm using the Avon Glimmer Stick Brow Definer. I actually really, really like these. Between this one and the Mark Brow Pencil, they're like two of my favourite ones. They've got good texture, good pigmentation, and they last a really long time. They don't smudge. What? What's well, not yours? But it's not yours. God. Day dummies vacate this house forever will be like the best day, seconded only by the day I don't have to buy nappies anymore. <laughs> yes. Kanka. <laughs> oh. Luna's supposed to be off of dummies. She makes her like a bit of a crack queen, but she's not supposed to have dummies anymore. Like occasionally if she's ill, we might let her have one. If she's like really ill, it does soothe her enough to sleep. Um but she's, she's almost four. So she's a big girl now. She should not have dummies at all. And you're a big boy now, are you? You're two. You're gonna have to give up your dummy soon, aren't you? The bobo fairy is going to come and take yeah. it. Yeah. They are. The bobo fairy is going to come take it. Juice. Juice. You're juicing in the living room, isn't it, darling? Right, so I'm just going in with some eye primer. If you didn't guess already. And then I'm going to go in and do my eye makeup. Um, I've actually, this past few days, Let's only been there. using this one palette, which I really shouldn't be without doing the pan in solitaire, but it's just been so quick and easy. Um, honey, can you leave that alone, please? Flush toilet. You don't need to flush the toilet, honey. Right, so I'm just going in with the lightest colour as a brow bone and inner corner highlight. And then I'm going to take the matte brown in the middle there and do a bit of shading. And this is where these two are going to start getting strapped of. Guys, what you up to? Uno momento beats. Okay, apparently someone wanted to put a film on and the other one. 
Honey, can you just turn down the volume just a little bit? Yeah. Thank you. So now they've got frozen on. Frozen fever has hit my house. Uh-huh. Yes. Mm-hmm. So I've got a few videos I would like to get filmed today. Nick is going out today and he's taking the little man with him. So I'm gonna have like maybe two hours of some peace. <laughs> like Luna's fine. She does this, she she gets it that you know that mummy's busy doing things and she'll entertain herself. She'll colour or play with her cars or something, or she'll sit and watch her film and eat her crisps and you know. Still a little bit lower maintenance. <laughs> um, but yeah. So I have a lot of stuff planned that I want to do today. <laughs> um, I'm going to go in with the shimmery, sort of taupey colour there. I'm just going to pack that all over the lid. The only prob the only flaw I find with Dior shadows and this is also particularly because um like most of their target market are the mature women. Their eyeshadow formulations are quite dry. Like you'll look at that in the pan and it'll look all smooth and satiny, but once you put it on the eye, it is a very dry formula just packed with shimmer it would be nicer if they could have a little bit more of a like a creamy butterness texture to their their eyeshadows it would look a lot more flattering on the lid and it would show up a lot truer to color as well right so there is that and next I'm going to go in with my little pencil brush, which I only have been using for this shade. I'm going to take this colour and do my hour V, which is what I've been doing the whole of February. Just using this colour to define with. No matter which, which of the palettes I'm using for panning solitaire, this is the colour I use to define things with. Because I know it's going to take so long to go through, so I want to get as much use out of it as quickly as possible. So that I'm not dragging out this palette forever. But yeah, I'm gonna use today to catch up on the laundry because it's it's seriously it's just never ending. It's just never ending. Uh huh. Uh huh. Shouldn't you be watching Elsa? So she's sleeping. Is Anna gonna wake her up? You gonna go build a snowman? Hmm. So I'm gonna catch up on laundry. <laughs> We're having um, pizza for dinner tonight, so don't have to worry about that. Um, I'm gonna get some of the house clean because it's just it's doing my nut in. Like someone asks why I'm doing all the cleaning while my partner's at home, it's because we'll get into these little ruts where he'll he'll clean. <laughs> He's not doing it how I would do it. And his version of tidy is not my version of tidy. Like he'll just take stuff and he'll he'll tidy it away on a shelf. And, and he'll take stuff that doesn't need to be tidied away or shouldn't be tidied away. And next thing you know, I have to haul it all out again to find whatever the hell it is he's tidied away. And he gets annoyed, which is understandable. 
he thinks he's doing good. He does. Gold star to him for, for effort. <laughs> but, you know, you guys have seen how many notebooks I own. You know why I own so many notebooks. Because I'll start using one and he'll tidy it away and not tell me where he's put it or doesn't remember where he's put it. So either I have to haul everything out from everywhere to find it, which is really not that vitally important, start another notebook which then in turn gets tidied away and I can't find it um so yeah that's kind of why I've started doing the bulk of the tidying the bulk of the washing because if I don't keep on top of the washing he just washes whatever and then certain things will just get pushed to the bottom of the basket and they'll be sitting there stinking like some things have gone mouldy, like some things have gone mouldy because he doesn't think to let something dry before he puts it in the wash basket he'll just dump it in there like so it's like dripping wet face cloths stuff that the kids have spilled juice on or milk or whatever he'll just put them in the basket because that's where they go I mean it's just, I don't want to use the whole he's a man excuse but you know he's a man <laughs> And it's just, it's just easier. It saves arguments. Um, yeah, it does get a bit stressful for me sometimes, but to be honest, the other form of stress, not having clean clothes when I need them, not being able to find my work when I need it, because that's the reason why I can't get anything done in a timely manner, because I can never find my notes for things. Because I'm a very paper person. I will, I will sit and I will brainstorm and then I will, I will plan everything out and then I will go in and like you know when you're at school and you're planning an essay and you write one of those block plans I do that for all my blog posts I do some of that for my if I'm doing like a topical video um and that's why I've not done very many topical videos because most of those notes got lost and or destroyed so <laughs> that's awesome but yeah that's basically why I have um taken on the burden of most of the house chores because if I want it done and I want it done right I want to go find my shit. I'm gonna do it. Okay, I'm gonna go in with the null quartz from Becca. I actually really like these little minis of the Becca products because it's. I think I've got like four or five of them, I think. Because I got them. Because I was like, well, I want to try so many of all the colours. And these were like, how many grams have you got? 2.4 grams. And they were like, I want to say they were like £12 a piece. Maybe 15 Which was a lot, but I got them when there was like a percentage off going on. So it's given me the chance to try out all the different colours. And, you know, if I've gotten bored of it, I've gotten bored of it. But if not, then I can, you know, repurchase in the future like opal, the opal version of this. I love, I'm almost finished it. So I might buy a full size of it. Vanilla quartz, however, eh, it's nice, it's nice. But I have things from Revolution that do the same thing. So buying a full size of vanilla quartz would have been a waste. That's my logic behind it and I'm sticking to it. <laughs> Going into Manar's duo. I don't know if I've shown you this, guys. Look at the pan. Look at the pan. Huge pan in uh, Laguna. There's. It's not a huge pan in Orgasm, but all the round it is very, very thin. It's going to be finished very, very soon. Well, not very, very soon, but it's definitely going to get finished this year. What are you saying, darling? I do. I do. Mm -hmm. But going back to the like the housework thing, the thing that was stressed me out with doing all the housework and stuff and going to work and that, it's the having to also keep an eye on the kids whilst I'm doing the housework and that, which was driving me nuts, which is why I got pretty much snapped and had to go at my partner. I had a little diva moment, I did, I'm not going to lie, a little yelling was involved <laughs> and he's going to start taking rowing out, rowing out for me 
because he's just so little he doesn't understand that these are things that need to get done like I said Luna gets it she understands that mummy can't play with her all the time and mummy has to do the washing and hang stuff up and wipe down the walls and shit sorry I shouldn't swear um but Rowan's still just a bit too little to get it so my partner's gonna start taking him out for me um just for a couple hours once a week it's all I need it's all I need I just need <sighs> I know so many mums I know so many mums hate to admit it but sometimes you just need away from your kids you just need to get away from them for just a couple hours just a little bit of peace what darling he is not he better not be Right, so I'm going in with orgasm. Um, once I finish this, I might sneak off into the kitchen and film like my makeup basket video, or I might stay in here and do it, depending on how the kids are behaving. We'll see. This is pretty much how I've been doing my makeup every day this week for work. Um, sometimes I go a little bit too heavy with the darkness around my eyes um, but people seem to like it I've gotten a lot of compliments on my makeup this week so I'm very happy um, it's been a while since I've gotten compliments on my makeup so maybe I'm getting my, my stuff together <laughs> I don't know I know it's very unfeminist of me to say it, but a lot of men like a makeup girl. They do. And when you work with the public and a lot of your customer base are gentlemen, you want your customers to be happy. You want them to come back. And if you've got a smiling face and a nice made up face, you like to look at it. It makes them happy. And I'm okay with that. Um, next I'm going in with the Hyalonic. Wait, did I knock off all that powder? Yeah. Gonna go in with my Hyalonic yeah. Fix Mist. Yeah. Yes, darling, I know, I heard you. Oh. Oh, thank you, darling. Post. Okay, and what's this? Will you take that into the living room for me? Oh, look, Chinese. Oh. Right, and for Louise, um, I'm going to finish off with some black bio, black bio, bush. I've, I still don't know how to say it. B-I-O-U-X. I'll have to use like some sort of um, like I don't know how to say it? Cause it, it's annoying me that I don't know how to say it. Right. Oh, thick. I wasn't going to put it on the top lash, but this was all after now. <laughs> it's probably something really silly and small. It's like an exaggerated version of, you know, when you drop a pen, you're like, ah, oh, shit. And they're just like, wah. <laughs> oh, dear. The over dramatics of children. I swear this is the longest I've been able to go without him wanting up. So what darling? What have you got there? What have you got? Now let me see. You don't put this in your mouth, sweetheart. Don't put it in your mouth. I know it's yours, but you don't put it in your mouth, okay? 
The Arlo. Arlo Comfort Cuddles. And for mascara, I'm using the Clinique High Impact Mascara. Honestly, guys, I forgot how much I love this mascara. I hate that it smudges because it does. Um, it smudges more on a work day than it does on a non work day, so sometimes I just don't even bother wearing mascara to work. Um, or if I do, I'll use that, that Avon Lash Genius one because it doesn't budge. It's like a, it's one of those tubing mascaras. But on my days off, I like Lash Impact. Lash Impact, I mean High Impact. What am I even on? I'm making up product names now. Another thing I love about this mascara is whenever Clinique are doing any form of like gift with purchase or if you order off of their website, you're almost guaranteed to get a mini tube of this for free. So it's like half the time you don't even have to pay for it. I think it was um, Cherish. She was a huge fan of the Clinique moisturizers, so she would always wait until there was like a gift with purchase on before she'd she'd purchase them the the moisturizer that she used, which is a bomb idea. It's what I used to do when I used um, Estee Lauder skincare. I'd wait until there was a a deal on. It's also how I ended up with so much Clarins face wash anytime there was a deal on that I kind of had that there was products that I wanted to try it was always oh you need to buy two things one of them has to be a foundation or skincare so I would get the product that I wanted to try plus a bottle of face wash so now I've got like four bottles of face wash from Clarence to use um, which I'm working my way through very steadily. And this guy is almost a third of the way through now, and this guy is under a third full, so we are getting there with these guys. We're getting there. I probably have enough. I don't know why I keep touching my hair. Silly. I keep going to go tighten my ponytail and then realise I don't have a ponytail. That's what it is. Um, so what was I saying? I don't know. Yes, I was going to say that I probably have like another three years worth of skincare in my sash. Uh, that's not necessarily a vitally important point to make. I'm sure you are all aware of the stupid amount of skincare I own. Stupid amount of makeup, understandable. Stupid amount of kit skincare, what is wrong with you? <laughs> oh darling, you got spit rags? Yeah! Uh, so the lip treatment I'm using at the moment is the One Lip Spa Lip Plumping Balm from Aura Flame. This does have a bit of a tingle to it. Um, not that I'm promoting it or anything, but if you are looking for a nice lip, tint, um, lip plumping balm, then this one's nice. Um, I like that one, I like the new one, and I like the Nivea classic lip balm. Even though it's not plumping or anything, I do like it. Okay, so this is how I've been getting ready for the bulk of February. Sometimes I'll throw on a little more of a gold shadow that's in my panning solitaire, but most of the time it's, it's something very similar to this. I might change the blush a little bit. Um, but yeah. So that's my get ready with me with my project panning makeup. Um, hopefully I've answered a few questions um, throughout this video. But if you do have more questions, um, I'm very open to doing like a QA. and a um, So if you have anything you do want to ask me, feel free to comment below. And I can, might do like a live style version or I might just do a 
little sit down version or get ready with me Q&A or something. Um, but let me know what you'd like to do and if you've got any questions, feel free to ask. I'm, I'm an open book. Um, at least I try to be, try to be. There might be some off topic, off limit topics. Can't think of any offhand. Um, but if one gets asked, I'll put my foot down. <laughs> Anyways, I'll catch you guys later. Thank you so much for watching. And um, yeah, see you next time. Bye-bye.